Good morning. morning from Blenheim. We drove up to here from Kaikoura yesterday and all along the way there were opportunities to spot even more seals so we definitely took the opportunity and this is what we found. Roll footage. <laughs> While the drive up the coastline was absolutely beautiful, we're super excited to explore this part of the country. For anyone who doesn't know, Blenheim is in Marlborough, and Marlborough is New Zealand's famed wine region. So that's what we're going to be doing here over the next few days is wine tasting. How terrible. Such a hard life. Oh, the worst. see there are many many wineries that are available in this town but we only have a limited budget available to us so we are staying around about this kind of area and we have an intention to maybe take in one or two around here but today we are starting with this one Lawson's Dry Hills <laughs> So we've just finished our wine tasting. The cost of it is $10 per person, but that fee gets completely waived if you end up purchasing a bottle. So essentially we got a lovely bottle of wine and a free tasting of many others as well. The tasting does include five wines typically, but they happen to have an additional bottle, a Gewurz Tremina, that was available as well. So we actually ended up tasting six and they were all delicious in their own right. Our sommelier, her name was Carol, and she was so attentive. I love when you come to a winery and you're able to really learn about the growing process and the picking process and then the fermenting process. And then she would share with us what food pairings would go well with the wine. It just felt really personal and I found it interesting. Definitely. I think that is really something to knowing exactly how these things are made and where they come from. So getting a real kind of insider scoop as to all of that for this was a lovely addition to what we were already enjoying. It definitely enhances my experience. And while all the wines were lovely and we would have happily taken home bottles of two to four of them, I'd say. Our favorite was the Chardonnay. And 
for me, I found it unique because I typically think of a Chardonnay as a little bit deeper in color than a Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Gris, whereas this one was very light. And same with its viscosity. I also typically think of a Chardonnay as a bit thicker and this one wasn't. It was really fresh, but yet smoky, which was one of the tasting notes. And for that reason, I found it unique to other Chardonnays that I've tried. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. And as I was enjoying it, I was just imagining having like a little blini with cream cheese and some salmon and maybe some capers. And it just seemed like the perfect kind of summer wine when you're entertaining guests. So yeah, all in all, a very lovely wine, though to be fair, like the other five that we tried are all delicious and have their own merits as well. It's really just a case of personal preference. So if you're in the area, you should definitely come to Lawson's Dry Hills. Well worth the experience and a great introduction to wine here in Marlborough. Good morning. Good morning. It is day two in Blenheim. Today we are going to go to a place called Number One Family Estates. We had a look on their website and not only are they very highly rated on Google, but apparently it says on their website that there is such thing as a complimentary tasting. So we will find out what that means. Let's go see if it's true. Today we're trying the Assemblée Cuvée Numéro 1 and also the Rosé. We just tried the Assemblée and we learned that it's actually made in the traditional method of making champagne, but because it's not made in champagne, of course it can't be called that. But it's made with the same grapes, so the Chardonnay grape, the Pinot Noir grape, and the one I'd never heard of, the Pinot Meunier grape. Yet another super welcoming and friendly experience here at Number One Family Estates. The sommelier was so informative and she really was happy to share about the family who owned this winery, how they came to make the purchase, his family's history of making champagne in champagne, it was just so interesting. Yeah, I think it really brings the experience home when you're talking to somebody who just really has that genuine passion about what they're talking about. And it really did shine through here. And it just really helped the experience. That all said though, this is a pretty special place in itself. Um, apparently this is the first winery that only focuses on doing sparkling wine in the Marlborough region. They gave us three different kinds, as I hope you saw. One was a more traditional one, the other one was kind of a blonde, and then the final one was a rosé. All of them were absolutely delicious, and I think between us we'd have been pretty happy with a bottle of any of them. Mm -hmm. But the amazing thing was exactly what they said on their website was absolutely right. It was complimentary. We didn't pay a single dime. So all in all, a very, very good experience here. Where are we going next? Somewhere else also, I'm sure. <laughs> First class. Special wine. While not taking anything away from the other wineries, we've definitely saved the best until last for this one. That was absolutely superb and literally every glass out of the six that we got was just out of this world. So good. I've never been to a vineyard before where I liked all of the wine on their tasting menu equally or just liked them all, period. Whereas these ones, I would not be able to choose which bottle to buy. I would want to stock them all in my wine fridge and share them with all my friends and family because they were all that good. 100%. If anything, it is a shame that we're traveling on such a budget and also that we're flying out soon because we'd definitely be stocking up 
but to anybody else who is interested in coming here, then we 100% recommend coming to Villa Maria. Not least because we got to enjoy all of that, but it turns out it was free for the tasting as well. How do you get better than that? I don't know. I don't know. That Absolutely was amazing. Superb. But before we get too out of control, we do have a car, so Nick needs to be in the proper state of mind <laughs> to drive us back. Otherwise, there are a ton of wineries and vineyards, I don't actually know which is correct to say, <laughs> in this area that you could try out. I would love to come back to this region one day and spend a week or two and just hit up one or two wineries every day because I think New Zealand has some of my favorite wines I'm discovering. Same. It's been a genuine treat, even though we've only had a couple of days here. It really just leaves me wanting more. But unfortunately, this does bring it all to a close. This has been a truly wonderful time here in New Zealand's wine country. We will be picking this up when we head on to our final, it's really disappointing to say that, our final New Zealand destination. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.